Hello, my name is Lamin Fofana and I live in the Gambia. I am a chartered accountant by profession, but I have a special passion for farming, especially poultry farming. Um, about a month ago, I started investing in uh, layer bags. Okay, I started actually with broilers about a year ago. So, um, well, we're doing well with the broilers. So about a month ago, we started the, the layers as well. So um, one of my friends, of course, who is my mentor in the area of uh, poultry farming, shared with me um, poultry feeding health program for layers. Okay, this was a template that was done while on the computer, the hard copy was printed. Um, so I thought I should, you know, reproduce this uh, template so that um, my friends in the area of poultry uh, could also benefit from it. So this is why I took the, the, the task of um, trying to type everything out. You know, I tried to make it more friendly because I, I have um, reproduced the template on uh, spreadsheets so that you can either um, print it out in its hard copy form and uh, fill it in. Or if you are somebody like me who loves uh, ICT, you could keep a soft copy in your own computer in your poultry farm. Okay, so um, I however want to make this disclaimer that um, um, this was template, th sorry, this template was developed in the Gambia. And of course, I, I, I was told by my friend and my mentor that this was approved by the livestock department of the Gambia, but you must not take it as a special professional advice you know, because I myself, I'm not a, I'm not a professional in the area of poultry. Uh, I'm only an accountant, okay? So, but I thought I should share this with, uh, with you, you know, with the rest of the world, anybody who is interested in poultry. Uh, it would be good to contact uh, a professional in the area of poultry, just to confirm, just to authenticate it, or maybe uh, the livestock department of your country. Okay, so um, just to make that disclaimer, but I really found it to, to be useful. Uh, so I, I, I'm somebody who likes to share uh, things that I feel uh, could make changes in people's life. Okay, so that's about the introduction. So I'm going to take you through, I'm going to take you through um, the template so that you can appreciate it, yeah? And then at the end of the video, um, I'm going to share the hard copy in its PDF form. And I'm also going to share the link to the Google Sheet template so that those who wants to use it, you can use it free. It's, you, know, you don't have to pay anything for it, okay? Good. So this is the template, as you can see. Um, the name of it is Poultry Feeding Health Program for Layers. As you can see, right. So you could populate the name of your poultry farm here, okay? And then you have some fields that are in green that you can fill as you can see them here. And then these are the columns that you need to populate as well, okay? So we'll, we'll, we'll go through. So you have the hatchery where you got your where you got your uh, day old layer bags, which hatchery, name of the hatchery, um, when it was touched, the date it was transported, uh, the rearing farm house number, that's you, the farmer, you, the poultry farmer who is receiving it, what's your house number? That's assuming you have many houses. Housing date, that is when did you, you know, um, when did you bring the the day olds into your farm. Uh, what is the age that usually is a day or two? 
you know, um, or it could be an instance whereby if you, you know, buy the 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 the, the grown chick uh, chicks from somebody else, you put the number of days that the the age at the time you bringing them in. Uh, who is your feed supplier? Because we want to assess whether you have quality feed or not. The number of hens, that's the quantity of the birds that you're bringing in. Uh, the number of hens transported. Okay. Um, the one you um, ordered, the one that's transported. What is their breed? What's the type of bird? And then the number of mortality, the number of hens that, that is maybe during um, uh, transport, okay? So you could include in the number here. Okay, so we're going to go through the columns. Um, the first column is the date column. You have the number of bats. This will be on a daily basis. You have to populate in this. Whoever the farm manager is needs to fill in this. The mortality on each of the days, okay? So this column is very, very important. This is the medication or the vaccinations that you will give to, to, to the birds, okay, on the various dates, anti-stress, okay, um, and so on and so forth. The feed type, on a daily basis, you need to keep record of this. The daily feed intake in kilogram, you need to be weighing how many cages you given to, to your birds. The daily feed intake actual, this is the standard. And then the actual that you have given them. This is very good to monitor, you know, how well your birds are eating. So the age in this, this, this column is very, very important. The age of the birds in days and the age of the birds in weeks. So as you can see, day one up to day seven. At the end of day seven, that's week one. Okay, the standard average width. Okay, you need to monitor the weights also, the standard average weight at each of the days, like in day five, what should be the standard average weight and what is the actual weight, just to ensure that, you know, you are within the standard. So you can either meet the standard or uh, maybe within the range. So if there are any remarks that you want to make, you can always populate that here, okay? So this is these are some of the columns, as you can see, um, these are the medication to apply in each of the days. For example, the first three days, like day one, day two, day three, is anti-stress. At the end of the first week, HB1, Gumro, or the Gumro vaccine. Yeah. Then day 12, and so on and so forth. So these are all the vaccine you need to give to the kids at this period. Okay, as you can see, you need to deworm them when they are one month old, that's day 30. You need to give them uh, fowl pox when they are day 35, okay, and so on and so forth. As you can see, all of them here. So this will go up to, um, as you can see, we're going down, 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 up to day 546, which is the 78 week. So this is almost close to, uh, uh, well, almost one and a half years or beyond, okay? So you need to monitor um, and then ensure that these vaccines are uh, given to them as and when the dates are due, okay? To get the best out of your, 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 your poultry, okay? So um, this, I think is very useful. Um, so like I said, I'm going to share the PDF version so that uh, you can print it and uh, use it. But like I said, please ensure that you you confirm with um, your, your professional, your poultry expert, or maybe the Department of Livestock in any country that you are in, okay? So if you're going to keep uh, a soft copy, I'll show you how you can fill it up. I've made one week. I tried to tailor made it to my own farm. Okay, so you can see the name of the farm. My own farm is called Canis Poultry Farm, Mandua, Megamia. Okay, yeah, so uh, when we got, so as you can see, these are all the 
information that I have populated to shoot me. Like in my own case, my birds, my layer birds came in on the 30th of April. So 30th of April is day one for me, for them. You know, week we're supposed to apply at distress and so on and so forth. Okay. So this is very, very useful so that you will know at any point in time, you know, um, weekdays should I apply week vaccine or medication. Okay, so day 30, so you just kind of copy this up to the last date. So all the dates are there, so you can be able to apply it easily if you look at today's date and then make sure that um, um, you are in line. So for example, Today is the 26th May. I know that in the next three days or so, on the 29th of May, I need to deworm my bats. That's when they are 30 days old. Okay, so this is very, very useful. And if you are sophisticated also, um, you know, like I love my spices to be honest. So you could um, um, do this in such a way that it could remind you you know, especially if you are somebody who has got a busy schedule, you could set it up automatically so that when the the date for the vaccination is nearing, let's say a week before time, or let's say a couple of days before time, two, three days before time, an automatic reminder can be set to you, you could be able to set that as well. So as you can see, I have already set an automatic reminder. So what I did was all the dates that I'm supposed to apply vaccine, I've, you know, um, summarized them here, the dates, the vaccine or the medication that needs to be applied, you know, the age at the date they're supposed to be applied, the week number. So these are the actual dates which I want to remind. So I'm saying reminder dates three days before the actual date. So as you can see, uh, all these reminders have been sent to me automatically through my email. As you can see, reminder sent, reminder sent, reminder sent. Okay. The last reminder that was sent to me this morning is the 26th. That is reminding me of a vaccination date that is supposed to take place um, on the 29th. Okay, on the 29th, that's this. Vaccination is supposed to take place on the 29th. So the de warming, okay, the, is the de warming that's supposed to take place on the 29th. Okay, so um, just to conclude, I would like to say thank you for watching my videos. Um, if you want more of this, please do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button and. If you feel, if you think this is uh, useful, this is useful for you, um, you might um, click a thumbs up. Or if you think otherwise, you could leave a message for me. You know, I would, I would love, you know, um, uh, how to call it, uh, a feedback on, on the video. Um, just trying to share, of course, the, the little I know. And of course, like I said, I'm not an expert in poultry, but I'm just trying to share uh, the little that I know. So, thank you so much. Um, please check at the bottom of the video, I'm going to leave uh, the soft copy, the PDF version of uh, this, and I'm also going to um, provide a link to the online specific version of it, in case you want to, you know, maintain your template on, on, on your computer online. Okay, thank you so much and have a good day. Lamin Fofana from the Gambia.